Um, coming up in the next week, you play Everton. You've been beat by them twice, um, which shows they've got a bit of win winning mentality too. How are you going to go into that game? I'm not telling you. <laughs> um, maybe we can do this again after the game. Let's preview the Everton game. How did you get on in your last meeting with them? <laughs> um, I'm all right with it. I've, I've, I've come to terms with it now. We lost 4-1. Um, Who scored the goals, if you don't mind me asking? I can't remember her name. The other one was one was scored by Michelle Hinnigan. I don't remember the other one's name. But um, just by me. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, you, you you were brilliant in that game. I think you um you destroyed us. To be fair, and stopping oh, you. Was, no, it's true. I'm <laughs> being honest. You know, hopefully learnt from our mistakes and people will be tight and yeah, won't let you turn. Crossbar challenge, three balls each. Whoever loses, five to nothing. It's on. Let's go, kids. I'm done. Well done so when you know that when people ask you like how you describe yourself as a player, what do you say? Um I think I'd probably describe myself by saying I'm really direct. Um I like to just go for gold if I can, or put other people in gold, uh, onto gold or um I think I've got good vision. I think I'd like to think I've got good vision. I think a lot of people think I'm just a fast player, but I think I'm, you know, quite technical as well and I take pride in keeping the ball and, you know, things that perhaps people don't think I do. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to essay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying I struggled to answer that question, but... Sorry. I'll Sorry. take note next time. Um, what was it like growing up with a professional footballer now? Um, well, I see him as my brother first and professional footballer second sort of thing. I mean, he's, for me, to me, it's, you know, I grew up playing with him just in the streets and, um, he, you know, I think we've both got natural talent, you know, it's something I, I think we were born with and luckily we've been able to take it on and sort of make a job out of it, but I'm so proud of him, you know, like last week watching him at Chelsea, wow, it was just amazing, like, just being there. It must have been a boss day for your mum as well, but, yeah, so how was. did your mum balance it then? So obviously did you have a game of a Sunday and Shawnee had a game of a Saturday or? Yeah, that's how it worked basically. So um, my mum just took us everywhere. We used to play tennis as well. So basically, we'd go up and down the country playing tennis. And my brother was really good at tennis. I was all right. Um, and then that's why we call you Sonia Williams now. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we'd go. We'd, we'd yeah, she'd take us to games. And I played on a Saturday, I think, for Leafield Athletic. I used to play on a Saturday. Yeah, I used to have McDonald's on the way. Nuggets. <laughs> Wow. And then uh, a pretty talented family then, so yeah. you've got another talent as well, um, so tell us about what your work has and how you balance that with your career. Well I work as a trainee solicitor, um, I studied law for three years in, at Brunel in London um, and then I always knew I wanted to go into sports and try and combine it with, um, basically go into sports law and try and combine it with football and um, that's, that's the aim really. I'm working at an, ent it's an entertainment law firm called Lee and Thompson. And um, you know, we basically represent celebrities, artists, yeah, musicians. Well, I, didn't, I didn't say any names, <laughs> I said we represent celebrities. I was waiting for <laughs> Becca. <laughs> One Direction. Okay, stop now. Um, so on that note, would you say you're the brainiest in the league? Because <laughs> some of the words you use, I'm ready yeah, any. I don't no, have a clue what see, I'm going to put this to bed now because everyone comes on interviews, all the England players come on interviews and say, who's the, who's the ditziest player? My name always comes up. No, you are a dope, but you yeah. obviously are clever if you've got these qualifications no, and I you're think doing I am this law thing no, in I, I, I think I am clever in what I'm passionate about. 
or in law, I think I, I'm clever. But when it comes to think th things I don't have a clue about, then no, just everyday life. Then you're just a bit yeah, not yeah, with it. Yeah. So on women's football, do you just get a chance to see much of the men, the men's team? Like, did they integrate it much, or is it kind of ladies and the men? Um, it can be at times. It can be very separate, and I do wonder sometimes what they think we're gonna do. Like, well, whether we're gonna, they think we're gonna eat the men. Or, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you, you do photo shoots and you meet the guys and they're actually, you know, they actually, they, they look at us I think sometimes like sisters and because we're doing the same thing, you know, sometimes they're a bit guarded but um, yeah, you know, we, we, we get to meet them sometimes and but it is it is quite separate obviously because they, they train in the day and we train at night. So I'm going to put you on the spot now, so if you had the opportunity to bring the ladies and the men's side together to raise the profile of the game, what would you do? What would be your ideas? What would be my ideas? Well, I think this might be it sound a bit controversial, but I do think you know women's football needs to really tap into the feminine side of it, and you know really bring out the beauty in a lot of the players, but also the you know the, the fact that we're strong women, the fact that we're athletes, but beautiful as well, and. You know, so obviously, you want like a makeup artist to do your makeup before a game or something? No, that's not. Listen to what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that obviously that's in the men's game as well. You know, you see yeah. Beckham, you see Lampard, you see Wayne Rooney, you see, or maybe not Wayne Rooney, you see Ashley Cole like doing, you know, it, like photo shoots because they're good-looking guys, and maybe do that more. You know, where you do. You, you do a Chelsea shoot and you're doing it with you know some of the guys and some of the girls and, and I you just think, think you'd be in that category so you'd be like the Beckham <laughs> <laughs> the Beckham or the Ashley Cole of women's football I think I'd be up there don't think I'd be bad <laughs> are you trying to say no. you're trying to ask me whether I'm ugly I'm not commenting we'll move on <laughs> yeah move on <laughs> so women's football has obviously grown massively now and you played a massive part in it you played at the Olympics and um, what was that experience like Wow, the Olympics was amazing. Like it was, I think the greatest thing I've ever been part of um, because it was bigger than just football. You know, I think as footballers, sometimes we get a bit locked in to this bubble. And you know, the Olympics was, you know, we were top athletes like, you know, Mo Farah, Jessica Ennis, um, Anthony Joshua. You know, these people who have worked so hard to get to their level as well. So it was just an amazing experience. And you know, playing at in front of 70,000 people at Wembley was just crazy, mad. You've also had another opportunity as well in America. How did that go for you? Do you think it improved the game? And what, yeah, what works well out there that, you know, maybe the English game can take into consideration? Well, I think in America, um, I just, you know, I went as, as an international player and international players naturally were, you know, they were, you can only have five in a team. So you were the best of a big bunch of people. So for me to get picked to go to America was amazing, just, just to get picked mm. to go, to, to get drafted as they call it. Um, but you were also amongst some of the, the other great players in America, so it, it, you had to raise your game otherwise you wouldn't play. So that really dug out, it made me a, a stronger character, you know, I remember going and, you know, I started the games and I didn't score for a few games and I sat on the bench for a bit and the coach couldn't speak English so he couldn't communicate to me and I just had to figure it out basically and um, that made me the player I am today I think and, and now when I you know now I'm back in England I think now I realise how much of a winner I am because of America. I'm gonna put you on the spot now can you tell us the story about how you got the blue tick on Twitter <laughs> And you have to be honest. <laughs> so initially, Siobhan Chamberlain, yeah, Shiv in our team, mm -hmm. she was meant to be sorting this blue tick out for me, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted it. <laughs> what? No, 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 I forgot. Stop, to... stop. Why did you want the blue tick so much? Because everyone that went to the Olympics had one. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened, and then my blue tick still wasn't there. I was waking up every day and checking. <laughs> So I just popped a little email over to my mate Chris Doolan at Umbro and I just said someone was meant to be sorting out my verification on Twitter and it hasn't happened, can you sort it please? So my question to you, now you have the boutique, is your life complete? <laughs> Has it made a difference to your life? I wouldn't say my life is complete but I'm very honoured to be verified. <laughs> I'm honoured to be verified too, we can, we can be boutique mates. To finish, have you got another interesting fact about yourself? Oh uh, wow, interesting fact about myself. Um, I, oh god, this is a hard question. 
Um, well, just down to yet. I cook a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and can I answer that again? No, that's it. No, so no, no. Actually, no. I want to answer that. Interesting fact about myself: I've travelled to a lot of places in the world. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh here, but. And his interesting fact was she's travelled to a lot of places in the world. I, I hope you really enjoyed our chat today and hope you find out a lot more interesting things about Annie. Bye for now.